Hello everyone, I'm Christian Negulescu and I'm welcoming you, you to another episode of uh, Learning UiPath in 5 minutes. Today we'll talk about how to build JSON in UiPath. As usual, my UA episode will have all the code in the description on the GitHub. Yeah, so what's the idea? The target is like this. We have to build a JSON inside of UiPath. To be able to, uh, why we need to build a JSON inside of UiPath? Because normally in UiPath you can use also a HTTP request to send the request to... Um, you, you send a request to an, a lot of um, API systems. So for this stuff, uh, you need to use a managed package and you need to install a web API. Web API. So if you have this package installed, then you have the HTTP request system. If you want to build a JSON without um, um, installing the HTTP request, be sure that you have here on the, uh, um, on the import, uh, important arguments, uh, on uh, on the imports, uh, you need to have the um, NetSoft. So for example, I don't have it now. And when I will drag it, uh, when I drag the HTTP request to my, uh, this one, uh, this will include the, uh, um, this one I drag uh, one and I will create a variable that is called, uh, so variable and it's called um, G object. You see, I have Newton, um, uh, Newton soft JSON, Newton soft JSON uh, LinkedIn. So be sure link link. So be sure that you have this uh, this stuff. So uh, it's very it's mandatory to de define a variable like this. Yeah. Now let's go to the uh, um, to the stuff that we want to discuss. So basically, uh, here I have multiple types of JSON. Yeah. So I have this J um, uh, this one uh, this JSON uh, this JSON with uh, that has um, Inside another object with other attributes, we have this JSON with uh, or a vector with multiple uh, multiple JSON objects inside, and I have a vector with also a list of objects inside of the vector. Yeah. So the idea is very simple. You can use Visual Basic .NET code to build this stuff. So basically, you will have a Visual Basic .NET like like this that will create your JSON. So basically, in your iPad Studio, you will say just write line. And you put this Visual Basic .NET code, and this will create uh, the JSON object. So this will avoid you making all the issues with uh, commas and uh, brackets and all the stuff that uh, when you created the JSON from string. Yeah, you see, I have the perfect JSON. For the second one, again, I just have the um, the building of the JSON with uh, this function in Visual Basic .NET. Yeah, so very easy to uh, to build uh, this one. If I have a vector, so if I have a vector, basically I define here um, a GRA. So I, I create a list of objects. Yeah, and on this list of objects, uh, I will add the, the stuff. So I will have add to collection, and on each uh, on uh, on each um, of my object, I will add another G, G object. Yeah. So you can see here on my example that here I have three objects. So I create each JSON one by one. And then on the end, I add the, the list of objects to the main JSON and then I create um, uh, this one, yeah? So here on the, when I want to create the main one, basically I will, um, I will say J object with records and GRA object list, okay? And for the last one where I have to, uh, to create uh, basically uh, again, I have three objects. I have three three objects, but here I have a list of um, of strings. So inside of creating the JSON, I have here a new string, and this will create uh, the the list of strings, the items uh, with my car names. Okay. So these are the um, uh, fast explication for JSON. You have a lot of videos about how to create JSON on my YouTube channel. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel and um, um, like my videos and comment to my videos and tell me what else you want to see inside of uh, my YouTube channel. Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe. Have a good one. Bye-bye.